I didn't have it in my mind to start a band. I grew up as a professional dancer and then I became a choreographer. I was living with Christina Applegate, one of my very good friends. And Christina had a dance studio in her house and I'd go down there and I'd just be like doing all this choreography. And Christina would come down into the studio, like it would be like two in the morning and she'd be like, what are you doing? She said, you know, I'm friends with Johnny Depp. Uh, at the Viper Room, and she said, you know, we should go down and show him this. I mean, this is so incredible. It's like you should put together like one full number. Next thing I know, I have, you know, a Carmen Electra, you know, Carmen's in the show, then Gwen Stefani. All these record companies were calling me. All of a sudden, I mean, it was literally like overnight, just everything was happening so fast. Like the first time actually that I heard Don't Show on the radio was here in Vegas. I couldn't stop crying. It was seriously like so, it was so incredible because it was like, you know, thinking like, how how could this be? There's something about Vegas that's right for the Pussycat Dolls. My partners here in Vegas um, believed in me and believed in the Pussycat Dolls and, um, and built a, a club from the ground up. I cannot tell you how many people said to me, you go to Vegas when you're over. And I remember thinking, I just don't think that that's right. I feel like I'm a big part of Vegas now. I have a second home here, I bought a condo here, and, and, um, and just, I love it here so much. I have dreams about franchising the Pussycat Dolls Lounge and, you know, do, and, and continuing the band forever. I had so many dreams of wanting it to be huge, but so many things have happened with it that have changed along the way. Every single time we'd, we'd you know, I, we'd, we'd finish the show, I would always feel like that was the best show. Like, there is no better show than, than, than my show, you know? I felt so good about it that it was really like I was walking this line of what was right in front of me as opposed to what was 10 years ahead and taking those baby steps as opposed to trying to get from here to here because then you miss out on the journey. Yeah.